Okay. Got goosebumps. Got goosebumps. Goosebumps. It's so pretty. I am so envious right now. I, I can see a video coming out onto YouTube soon. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I think this is the first Enterprise E to be revealed. I mean, there's another. There's a couple others out there, but I think this is the first one to get some video uh, footage. Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! Hey, Star Drift League of Man fans, today, Enterprise E reveal. Yeah, look, we aren't, pro if you're watching this video, likely you're not anywhere close to the Enterprise E. And you know what? Neither am I. But that's okay, because we're going to take a look at one today, thanks to Thief, one of our players here in our community, who is level 70, and even though there's only like eight of them in the entire game, still really cool to take a look at. So if you're excited, like I am, Enterprise E, one of the best ships in Star Trek canon and lore, well, hit that like button and uh, enjoy. So this is a little bit of a flip cup copy pasta from our Twitch stream. If you don't hang out on our Twitch stream, I encourage you to twitch.tv forward slash RevDeuce. But let's roll it and then we'll talk a little bit at the end, kind of like a recapping of the Enterprise E. But this is a reveal video, so just go ahead and enjoy the eye candy. One of my friends, he is level 70. So, oh, hey, Beck. Hello, tell audience. Well, you're always without alliance. And you're going to unveil uh, the Enterprise E. Yay! Yay! Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, oh uh, here! <laughs> Click it! 5.8 billion. Wow. And only nine, nine days. Well, nine uh, G6 days. E even the buttons are gold. Yeah, exactly. That's how you know it's a premium area of the game. Even the buttons are gold. <laughs> oh, nice, man. nice touch, Scope. And he switched it to Enterprise. Yay. Hmm. Okay. 18 tiers. Hey, drink is so beautiful. Look at all those parts. What? Oh, my gosh. So, uh, Beck, since you're in the chat, this is something that we need. We need a build all components. Absolutely. We definitely need a build exactly. all components button. E even better if we can just build the entire ship. Or yeah, like if you had a slider resources. to go to whatever tier you wanted, you know? Because we have to do it, this for scrapping and everything else. It's such yeah, a pain. scrapping, it would be so <laughs> useful. Save so much time. Such a pain. This, this is something that. Quality um, of life upgrades, man. Yeah, we've even, to it's, write even down without our the list. slider, literally just a build all button, calculated, done. Now nah, that freebooter didn't have a chance. You got to go hit something big. Go, go take it to like a Zindi Armada. Take it to like a Zindi Mata thief. See how it does. I want an Enterprise E man. <laughs> Not fair. Uh, it's all good. This is good for your wallet. Oh yeah, Bond. It, it is. I enjoy this. This is like me. I'm living vicariously through Thief right now. This is beautiful. Because Alex, uh, well, he just went for a smoke break, but I believe the game is 32 bit, so that's why there's a limit to the total damage that can be dealt in one shot. Look here, Integrate. We don't judge. I mean, I we do. I believe that is the case, yeah. Integrate. Stevens! We will get it in 10 years. We will. Power World is a really good game. Sadly, I've not gotten to get into it because I'm still working through Baldur's Gate and we've been playing War Thunder. But I've watched several of my streamer friends play it and fun game. Very fun game. How high are you I going, Thief? No idea. Uh, my plan to go to tier... Uh, I think I can go to tier 7-ish right now. Wow. There you go. You just hit 10. 10 billion. Yeah, and um, no forbidden tech on that Enterprise E either, Pixelate. All right, come on, battle. Let's go. Hurry up. <laughs> oh, I wish it had really adjusted the timer. That also bugs me, Beck, since you're here in a work capacity. 
The fact that when you use the Armada Quick Start, it does not update the timers. That annoys me. I wouldn't have said anything, but she mentioned work stuff already. Kiki Jeans, thank you for the money. Hey. <laughs> Dude, it didn't even, even scratch. touch you. Put your broke ass. <laughs> okay, let's go. Do I have an epic? It didn't even touch you. I get lucky. You get lucky. You shut your face. <sighs> Hardly a scratch. <laughs> uh, okay, so you got to see the Enterprise E get leveled up and tiered up a bit. Crazy expensive. You got to see it hit hostiles. You got to see it do formation armada. And overall, I think the Enterprise E is exactly what you expect it to be. It's one of the best ships in the game. I mean, it's strong. And you would expect a level 70 player to have. I mean, 10 billion and it's not even tier 6. That's crazy numbers to us. But at the same time, something to look forward to. Because there was a time where having a Tribune was like an impossibility. Like the idea of having a Tribune was just not in the cards. It was so far away. Nobody's ever going to get there. And yet here I am with one now. And I'm very happy about having one. Well, same thing goes for the Enterprise E. Someday we'll get it, but until then, we'll admire from afar. The tier one through five that you watch, this is the raw cost for tiers one through five. And as you can see, quite high. Now, looking at the Sigma materials, you go, wow, quite cheap. You just gotta understand the Sigma materials were a reset of the economy. So the price is actually a little bit higher than displayed from what it would be in regular Tritanium and everything, but going by the uncommons. And it only gets more and more pricey, which again, you would expect for a premium area of the game and the economy doesn't support getting it because there you go look at that start needing a million uncommon ore just to get to tier nine and remember this bad boy a lot of tiers in fact here's up to tier 12. getting scared yet look at that craziness and then finally last but not least maxing it out at tier 18 would cost you 48 million raw six star gas and if you just got that laying around you're a boss but it's still exciting regardless i have enjoyed this it was a fun part of the stream in this stream we streamed like six hours we had ripper playing star trek fleet command again he logged into his account on the stream that was cool Steve came by and we did an enterprise e reveal it was just a really fun stream so hopefully you've enjoyed getting to see this it's not an april's fools prank i know it's april fools and i've done some fun stuff in the past this is a real ship it's really in the game and people are really getting it which is neat while i'm a long way from it still thought it was worth sharing with y'all and if you enjoyed it which I would hope so. I mean, I'm not going to get mad. I'm jealous. I'm very envious. Hopefully y'all are as well. Let me know what you think about the Enterprise E in the comment section down below. And if you get to see it out in space, say hi. Live long and plunder. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys. Deuces this. Me. Catch you the next one. And uh, yeah, we're out. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.